Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right Smash there. Smash like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dab right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. It's been about three weeks. My name is Michelle Belcher. I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Hello. And over the internet. <laughs> We've got Jairus Mitchell. At the hip. And Chris, it's the Hutch Hutcherson. Thanks, Michelle. So we saw last week we had a little bit of high temperatures. Uh, so let's go to the Doppler radar. We can see we've got a little bit of high moisture coming in, a lot of hot air coming in. So we're looking at, we're looking at the uh, the seven-day forecast. we got Monday. we got a little bit of a breeze, maybe some rain. Uh, but after that, it's going to be nothing but humidity. Back I like you, how you did the weather, but you adopted the voice of the traffic reporter. <laughs> yeah, like yep. the person who is in a helicopter, just like screaming over the the sound of the engine. <laughs> I mean, what better way to view the weather than from a helicopter? That's true. Exactly. <laughs> that way, you can really look down on the weather. <laughs> he really, he really mm -hmm. feels it. He's there. He's in the field. Yeah. Um, he did two he's, tours, and he's got the true weather. passion for his. <laughs> Due to uh, uh, let's just blame the last three weeks. Of Why do you have to draw attention to it? Huh? Why do you have to draw attention to it? Is that a way to shame yourself? Don't shame yourself. I don't, I'm not. There's no like. It, <laughs> I don't want to not talk about it. <laughs> People who watch us definitely know, and you want to say something <laughs> like, "Hey, shit happened." Hey, we Zach, have lives. It was kind of a exist? busy three weeks. Bang, yeah, bingo, was. that's all I was going to say. Why do you have to shame me about it? <laughs> I thought you were I was fine spiraling like, into a sadness place about, about missing. It? No, about I was not talking like, to each other. Yo, what's up? We're busy. We're cool. Look, the only real victims in this situation is our friendship. This, the, the weird thing about this episode, though, is that this is now the episode uh, that where we've had more COVID episodes than normal episodes. <laughs> Man, 2020 was a good year to start a podcast with I, each other. A live in-person video out with podcast. Your friends. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> um and, you know, that's fun. Whatever. We'll deal with it. That's fun whatever. Uh, but yeah. We'll deal with it. I you know, I still really appreciate you guys coming and talking with us cuz like this is the only time I really get to hang out with you guys, especially Jairus, because like I don't want to kill him. Yeah, all right. And I so. do appreciate that. <laughs> I don't want you to kill me either. I, you know, I've got, I forget how this works. Who goes first? Um, <laughs> should What's I be recording? <laughs> Can I yes. don't say that? Oh. We'll fix it in post. Yeah, it's fine. That's, <laughs> that's perfectly Perfect. fun. <laughs> I just, we'll just have. I'll just start putting up like uh, subtitles for Jerry. Why don't you just up? Upload so like work. individual tracks and let everyone else figure out how to edit it all together. It's like a choose your own podcast. <laughs> so I actually get so, to hear the podcast that way sometimes, and it's all it's real weird. Um, I I was uh, I stumbled on, across a uh, Twitch stream last night where um, uh, one streamer was uh, co co-streaming and talking to another streamer over Discord. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other streamer um, had not figured out how to get the Discord audio <laughs> onto his stream. Oh, perfect. So it was literally just a one-sided conversation on, on his stream. Very, just <laughs> very entertaining. That's <laughs> yeah. That's real good. I so like how, do you, how do you do that? Is that just like set up a secondary input with Discord oh, no, as you the just, output? You just make it listen to your system sound. Oh, okay. It's, it's really simple. Th it's just that like means it also setting. hears your porn. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, how do you yeah, yeah you gotta close well, those tabs like, but if you don't want to close those tabs how do you do that without it hearing the a porn? second computer okay <laughs> a porn computer oh. a porn specific computer it moans when you turn it Brit on isn't that what laptops are for <laughs> britney's got the post rats <laughs> yes i love it it's waterproof <laughs> <Water>. <laughs> <laughs> i need my it's my tub laptop 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My tub laptop. <laughs> Tub top. Tub. I was thinking laptop, but laptop sounds real gross. It does. It does sound really gross. Ooh, laptop. Oh, Tubs God. are very heavy. I'm imagining just the tub for your genitals now. Like a small tub. A small genitals. little tub that you can dip your it's, genitals it's in. Called it's called a toilet cup. <laughs> That's how you use a toilet. That's not how you That's use perfect. a toilet. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I just thought you just cleaned it that yeah. way, right? Just dip it in. Yeah, you just teabag the toilet. <laughs> it's like a roast beef sandwich, except your balls. All right, that's enough. <laughs> hey, Jairus, what are we talking about? Well, I was going to talk about like <laughs> albums, music albums that changed okay. who you were as a person. But now I just want to keep talking about dumb shit. Um, <laughs> so I'm. I would still like to talk about albums that changed who you are as a person. Um, mm-hmm. But with the assumption that I'm going to try and derail it in some weird directions. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need so, unanimous uh, consent. I, yeah, I need I, exuberant I, uh, consent as well. Please, please, please take us on the crazy train. My notary is here. I'm signing oh. the papers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay, my fax machine's going off. I've got it, Hutch. Thank you. Um, Ah, So what album changed, like, album or albums changed your life? And that could be your world, the way you thought about music, the way you thought about yourself, or anything, really. Um, So I think that's... uh, I want to add to this, like, just a... Oh, you're yes-anding my question. I am. So a lot of us listen to albums. I listen to albums. When I listen to music, I tend to listen to long form things like an album. But with today's popular stuff, a lot of us only listen to songs. And do you listen to albums? Well, I'm too old now to be changing my ways. So even if I did listen to an album now, I'm set in my ways. (laughs) Okay, okay, got it. (laughs) So all of this will purely come from my youth, my youthful days when I was impressionable and full of hope and dreams and When she was doing the foxtrot (laughs) and... Uh, dancing, <laughs> drinking bathtub gin, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, toilet gin. Toilet, but toilet gin. <laughs> that sounds like the name to a good album. But toilet you spell gin. toilet, T O Y L I T. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Marketing, so for I love me, it. it was uh, DJ Shadows introducing or. Uh, the soundtrack to ghost dog way of the samurai. Um, and so like in the late nineties, I, I was one of those tedious, awful people who, when you ask them what kind of music they liked, I'd say everything, but hip hop and country. Yeah. Um, (laughs) and then I heard, uh, DJ shadow, and I was like, oh, okay, no, this is fucking amazing. And I'm an idiot for mm-hmm. not realizing that like music is a spectrum and that there's good shit and bad shit and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I definitely came from and that also Wu-Tang area. Clan. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan's always amazing. <clears throat> DJ Shadow had a lot of drum and bass, didn't he? Yeah, but the it so the thing up. that struck me, like I I never liked, I could never get down with pure electronic music, um, and it was mm. just because it was too synthy. But when I heard uh, DJ Shadow, and part of what led to me later liking Kanye West, who's now an insane person, um, was like <laughs> the old instrumental loops and uh, just like the creativity of creating. Uh, the component parts of the soundtrack or of, of the, of the song. Um, and in introducing, there's like a lot of weird, like there's synthesizer, but there's also a lot of like weird piano and trumpets and like brass instruments and things that have no identifiable characteristics. And it was the first time where I was just kind of like, Oh shit. Huh? 
So I don't know who DJ Shadow is. I've never you heard do. of this artist uh, before. So the opening theme song for Fast and the Furious 3 Tokyo Drift, uh, <laughs> that is one of his songs. <laughs> okay, okay, well, it's been a minute, <laughs> but I believe you. Um, sadly, that, jo- that song didn't jump into my head when you said mm. <laughs> when and where. <laughs> But I, I mean, I'm going to check it out because I'm always interested in new stuff. Yeah. But jumping off what you said, one of the biggest albums for me was definitely My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West. Yes, he's crazy now. Well, he was crazy um, then. I don't re- he was just he was Yeah, but he, he, he... Yes. I wish he would just make music because I love his music. <laughs> well, even then, like... He's a terrible I, I, I was rapper, fine with him though. Being... He's just a, an amazing... Yeah music he's a really good producer yeah yeah Yeah. um but as far and i wouldn't say he's a terrible rapper i would say he's a he's he's an elementary rapper yes he but uh, compared to like uh all of his contemporaries yeah he's mm, not good but (laughs) compared to people who are good maybe not so good (laughs) um but like my beautiful chart twisted fantasy specifically um there's only so much rapping on it and the rap that is on it that's really good isn't him so <laughs> well yeah maybe <laughs> he got maybe a lot of really great features on it that kanye isn't a good rapper maybe i should say usually the best rapping on any of his songs is not done by him yeah 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 like monster specifically has like six other rappers on it and it is a fucking banger of a track uh especially like i can't decide between Nicki minaj uh or uh jay-z between who had the best lines on that one but uh overall it's also just like a hell of a fucking banger that uh was produced on like there's nothing bad about that i'm like 80 percent sure monster was on 808s and heartbreak it's um it was supposed to be, but it's not because 808s and Heartbreaks it, uh, doesn't really have any rapping on it, period. Yeah. It, it was just a singing and synth album. 808s is one of... Uh, is, oh. Like, I didn't listen to Dark Twisted for a while because 808s was uh-huh. the thing that I was like, yes, give me more Runaway. Oh, it's great. And all of the lights. Runaways on... All of that's on my beautiful dark twisted <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> no, it's heartless. 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 Yes, heartless is on 808s. Yeah. Yes. So I listened to my first Kanye album was my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, and then I went back and listened to his older stuff and was mm-hmm. like, oh, this is really good too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's funny with like Kanye. Every time he puts out a new album, I'm always like, I don't like it, and then it takes me like a few years, and then I'm like, oh, it's not too bad actually. I kind of like this. Mm-hmm. It takes a while to grow on me. I feel like every time. Yeah, it's like he's aiming for a point ahead of your taste. Yeah, something like that. And eventually I fall into it, but it takes me a while to get there. Well, that was the thing with all of his albums for a while there. I think all the way up into like um, the Pablo album. I uh, I forget the actual name of it, but until that album, he was always becoming a taste maker of like rap culture and whatnot. Mm -hmm. He was ahead of the game for a long time there. Uh, graduation the whole album is another album that i feel like is just like oh this is what rap is now because uh when that album came out it was him versus 50 cent and they were like oh who's going to have the big uh release because they came out Uh the exact same day but 50 cent was the old and kanye was the new even though now jay-z is doing like some really crazy cool shit if you haven't listened to 444 you should Oh, yeah. Well, that's a great album, too. Uh, thank you for joining Yeezy Talk. Uh, I'm your host, Jaris. Uh, we're going to do a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Squarespace, build it beautiful. <laughs> Eat a Squarespace uh, on HelloFresh. Yeah. <laughs> Fill in the grumpy, eat a Squarespace. Um, you, you should. Sorry, that was that was lame. Um, I loved it. All right, ten out of ten. I'll, I'll, I'll like go that. next. I'll go next. Um, so I feel like mine is kind of pretentious because this was like when I was a teenager, and I was like, oh, edgy, love it. So I got into Modest Mouse when I was a teenager, uh, and their first album that I bought was Good News for People Who Love Bad News. Mm-hmm. And for me, it was is that the I, float on one. It, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was like they had that big hit that was on the radio, and I was like, "Wow, I really love the song. I've never heard of this band. Let me look into it." And this is back when I had a not to brag, but a membership to Columbia House uh, CD. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I was just buying full albums constantly back then, um, and I just really got into that band. Uh, and for me, at first, it was less about the music and more about the lyrics. Uh, because when I was in high school, I had the time to put on an album, lay in the bed, and like read the lyrics in the like mm-hmm. little insert that came in the CD. Think about how much you hated and your life. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but I just, I don't know. I love the the lyrics to that album. I loved the message that they were uh, coming across with. It, it just, for me as a teenager, it was just so edgy. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it talked a lot about religion. And at that point, I was starting to reject religion because I grew up in a very religious area. My family wasn't religious. And, and not that I was against uh, religion, but it felt like I was definitely getting shunned because I wasn't like I didn't go to church with people. And, you know, I w- my family was just like, whatever. Yeah. Um, and because of that, I felt like I was shunned uh, at a young age. So because of that, as a teenager, I was like, fuck religion, anarchy, blah, 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 mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Even though I don't think if I'm like, Modest Mouse is about anarchy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, that sounds crazy. But but uh, I feel like that really influenced my writing style too. Just um, I can see looking that. at the poetry of the songs. Would you call it and then later, and mousy? <laughs> yeah. And then later, I started to appreciate the music and how they used um, like classical instruments in their songs. Uh, like I saw Modest Mouse in concert, and they just had a shit ton of like brass things across the like mm-hmm. stage, and he just like walks from one area to another and just like picks up all these dis- different instruments and just plays them, uh, which I thought was really cool. Apparently, um, that's what like seeing Prince live was like. Really? Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty. But that's cool. It, I. I don't dislike Modest Mouse. I guess I just never mm-hmm. paid much mind to them. I kind of went mm-hmm. the other direction. Because I, s- I, like, I was raised on a lot of weird shit. So, mm-hmm. like, The Clash has been one of my favorite bands since I was a small child. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I, I always just preferred louder and angrier. Um, yeah. Oh, there's plenty of modest mouse to like them. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just <laughs> didn't hear that. You know, I just heard like the that wasn't what they put on the right, radio, right? Yeah. So maybe I should give them another chance. The 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 album that came out after that is actually my favorite modest mouse album. And if you like the Clash, you're gonna fucking love it. And I forget, it's like we were dead before the ship even sank. Yeah, that's the name of it. And um. It is one of the most hard rocking. Really sounds like a Decemberists album. It was around the same time. (laughs) It was around the same time. It was a lot harder than the Decemberists. It's way way harder. Oh, if you'd like, I could put a list of like my favorite songs together for you, and you could just listen to them that way. You don't have to because like some of their songs, like especially their older stuff from like the '90s, is very, in my opinion, mediocre. But they have some like really great experimental. Yeah, they're very experimental. Mm. They're like, let's just take these pots and pans and clash them together. Uh, Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of like their shit in the '90s, but. Um, I could probably put together a list of like some songs. Do it. We could put it in the. If uh, you take that too, as an action like. item, I will take an action item uh, to listen to them, and then we'll circle the wagons next week. Okay, that sounds, sounds awesome. Good. Uh, so there you uh, go. I was just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't want to uh, interrupt the uh, the modest mouse. Uh, yeah but, the the um, modest so, mouse section of the episode is over. Now we can move on to Hutch. <laughs> Hutch, what are we going to talk about for the next 10 minutes? Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, coheeding nope, Cambria. I can't. Yeah, in I don't keeping secrets of Silent Earth about 3. Cambria. Uh, oh, you need to. It's so fucking good. Do you like Iron Maiden, Jairus? Yeah, sometimes. I, Usually. Okay. Uh, I, uh, Coheed <laughs> is like Iron Maiden, but with like a, a storyline that goes through the album. Yeah. So, um... Th- this album kind of like I, I I hadn't been exposed to something that does it like this one. So it's it each song kind of tells a story. It's meant to coincide with a graphic novel, <laughs> um, and I must admit that like it's I have not like, read experience. it or so I can't appreciate. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it's it's kind of crazy, but uh, did that graphic novel ever it, get made? Because I don't think it was like ever made. Like it was a soundtrack for a graphic I, design novel that never got finished. I believe that it did. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's been a hot minute since um, I looked it, at that shit. It it's something that you have to find. I don't think you can buy oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the, like the the tracks on it, like. They, yeah, each track, like you mentioned, tell a story of sorts, and uh, it, it doesn't kind of follow like the pro- the structure that you would expect of a normal track. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like you know does things. Um, I don't really know how well to describe it. You kind of just have to hear it's it. Very rock it's kind of like its own rock opera. That's actually the best yeah way to describe it. Yeah. How does um, it compare to and, uh, Tommy? Um, way harder <laughs> and more cohesive <laughs> and understandable. So, so not as psychedelic. Cohesive in Cambria. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It, it, now that we're talking about it, now I just want to go back and like, because I, I kind of dropped off with them after their third album because I sucked. Mm. Or, or excuse me, their fourth album, uh, God Apollo. Uh, that was the one I uh, dropped they, off to. Yeah, but they put on. I saw them live around the God Apollo era, I believe, and they put on a really good show. So, um, uh, yeah, I love that album. Uh, I've actually listened to that whole album a few times. It's been a while though. That was like my early two thousands listening to period. I don't know. So early or early mid two thousands is what I was listening to them. So, mm-hmm. but <clears throat> they are very much like the sequel to iron maiden as far as like metal is concerned <laughs> iron maiden their... 2 still made I, yep. <laughs> I listened to a few of their hit songs in high school but that was pretty much the extent of it i never listened to like when a i met album you or anything one of their songs was your ringtone yeah i know but <laughs> i like that song it was a good song i just remember so. all of the scene kids really liking that mm-hmm. and me not liking most of the music that they liked. I feel that. I still like growling. I was a scene kid, so. <laughs> I find growling not in a... music unpleasant. Yeah. Well, good news. Me too. Cody doesn't have wow. any of that. Okay. I just, I think I just always Co- assumed they did. No, yeah, it's all high. P- it's just like, uh, literally like high pitched metal voices. That's all it is. Mm. <laughs> High pitched metal voices. It's what it is. If you've ever listened, metal voices. One high pitched metal voice, please. <laughs> That's all it is. Would, would you like fries with that? Mm, good times. So I I I, I want to say one thing. I think we can all agree on one album that probably changed all of our lives, and that's the Space Jam soundtrack. Yeah, I mean that molded us. Yeah. So. So I mean, for me, 1996 would have been a terrible year without it. I agree. Yeah, probably. I have to look at Shut I, up and slam. I don't want to encourage anyone out. to buy that album, though. <laughs> <laughs> why? I have to know why. That's right. Stream it on Spotify. Well, I don't want anyone to give R. Kelly money. <laughs> well, that's fair. Don't You're, listen it's to not, it's don't listen to the R. Kelly money. parts. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't listen to the one R. Kelly Just song. Just get a or Quad City download DJ it for free. CD. Like, yes. Is he yeah, in jail yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he, Seal. Does yeah. anybody know if he's in jail yet? Oh, he's been in jail for a long time now. R. For, Kelly? Uh huh. For about like a year and a half. A long time now. Well, like, <laughs> well, the last ever since six months, done. the last half year has been 10 years. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. That checks out, actually. <laughs> if, uh, yeah, time doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, uh, fuck R. Kelly, but listen to the rest of the Space Jam album. I love that album. The uh, cover by uh, Fly Like an Eagle by Seal is great. Listen to it. It's really good. Like, removed um, from the film. Really? Because that was, like, nonstop for me. Uh, I never had the album when I was younger, but I did enjoy the song from it. Yeah, I remember um, like looking at it and saying, "Why would I get this when <laughs> I could just watch the movie?" The I, only soundtrack I had as a kid was a Lion King two soundtrack. <laughs> wow, <laughs> on cassette tape. <laughs> I've had so many soundtracks. I do like movie soundtracks. So, also that being my, said, my music had- purchasing when I was a kid was always at like y- like 
music stores and it was always old shit mm. that was cheap. Like because it was yeah, cheaper yeah. than newer shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Every now and then I would blow like some money on a CD, especially like 1996, 97 was the year I got a CD player. So I just listened to my mom's music, which was all uh, the Cranberries, the Police, That's not bad, uh, the Eagles, <laughs> Ace of Base. <laughs> oh, yeah. there we that's go. fine. I was like my mom's music and when I was a kid. My mom got me to uh, CDs for Christmas that she wanted. Uh, <laughs> oh so that's where you get that from <laughs> yeah so she would she got me uh oasis uh uh the um, morning glory with wonderwall on it and um uh tragic kingdom by no doubt and i was like fuck yeah i wanted it too but she was just like hell yeah i'm gonna jam yeah. with you this is house music <laughs> <sighs> well that pretty much okay, wraps bye. Up that segment unless you Guys, have anything else you want to add to it? <laughs> no, Jairus is done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. Oh, but there, there is a band that y'all should check out. It's called okay. The Who. Uh, H U. <laughs> Who? No. Who? H U. Oh, okay. Um, oh. it is a Mongolian folk metal band. And it's yeah. kind of fucking blowing my hair back here recently. <laughs> okay. It's got like Tuvan's yeah, throat down. singing and <laughs> just some crazy shit. Sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.